this is one interesting boat. I'm not gonna lie. Headed? Oh, I can look around. to the Pembroke Hospital. It's just across the canal. They'll have a bed for poor Mr. Hampton. William was... What manner of creature was he? Predator, prey, villain, and victim. Who can say? The important thing is that he's been stopped. Duly noted. And the woman? What... Who is she? What woman? No, don't play me for a fool. You used me to locate that skull. You must know who she is. And I thought you were gentlemen. You shouldn't talk about a lady behind her back. But I will tell you, she values her privacy. <laughs> Sounds like you're scared, well, Swansea. As peaceful as she appears from the middle of the canal. If only that were the reality of the situation. To be honest, I've always tried to avoid this part of town. Pembroke Hospital is the last bastion between the rest of London and the epidemic. The flu has decimated the East End and the war still rages. Welcome to the front lines of a plague. This is where you work, Dr. Swansea. I am the administrator of Pembroke Hospital. I thought you were here in service of your mysterious order, the Brotherhood of... Of St. Paul's Stole, yes. But first and foremost, I'm a man of science. A physician, like yourself, Dr. Who, Reed. How do you know who I am? No need for modesty. You are Dr. Jonathan Reed, a surgeon of some caliber and renown, if I'm not mistaken. You are correct, sir. I knew it. I had my suspicions. But when you took the blood sample from the corpse of poor William, I was certain. Dr. Reed, marvelous. Shut up, baby. I know it. Have we met? I attended three of your seminars before the war. I have the utmost admiration for your research. And what a turn of fate. England's most esteemed blood specialist returns to London a vampire. <sighs> that word again from a so-called man of science. I understand. Traditionally, the role of science is to refute myth. But when myth walks among us, the Brotherhood of St. Paul has dedicated its purpose to their study. Why did we it's stop? So much for you to learn. Why did we I'm stop? You are right. Are we docking here? Well, then let me be blunt. Join my staff at Pembroke Hospital. As a physician. I suspect you'll not find a better post of employment to contemplate your uh, predicament. This is sudden. I was returning home to see my sickly mother. But alas, that was before contracting this affliction. Dr. Reed, take a moment to consider. The post would be for the night shift, providing a good explanation for your absence during daylight hours. You'll be adequately reimbursed and have a place to hide. I even had the forethought to bring some clean clothes. You know, I really like the sound of this. So, what do you say? Before you're acting all cocky, now you're like a, a giddy It groupie. seems I have little choice, but yours is a generous offer, so I thank you. Brilliant! Oh, Jonathan, this is one for the book, and the beginning of a beautiful friendship. I got a groupie, guys. He's my groupie. I was beginning to be concerned. Worry no more, Nurse Crane. For I bring good news. Oh, Doctor, what a night. We lost two more patients. Nurse Scow said she couldn't take it anymore and resigned. Yes, well, I'll make a new rotor in the morning. In the meantime, find a... Good bed for Mr. Hampton. Be sure to pay attention to his needs. Of course, Doctor. Oh, and Dorothy? Yes, Doctor? Dr. Reed here has just returned from the front. He served King and Country and will be joining us here at Pembroke. We're very lucky to have gained a surgeon of his talent, and one so experienced in blood transfusions. That is good news indeed, Doctor. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, 
think they can at least help her carry him to his room. Pembroke, it's not what we have, but what we haven't. It's only thanks to Nurse Crane and the staff that our ship doesn't sink. If you have any questions, just ask her. Duly noted. Thank you. Your assistance is required, Dr. Swansea, immediately. Welcome aboard, Jonathan. We'll catch up after my rounds. Coming, Nurse Crane. I'm coming. All right, are we going to play doctor now? Man, I look badass. Look at this outfit. Oh, yeah. Badass. Let's see what we got. I've accepted Dr. Swansea's help. Uh, I will work at the Pembroke Hospital. I have no choice. The man knows about my condition, about what I have become. A vampire? I can't believe this. I don't know anything about this scheduled medical facility. Uh, everybody here will take me for what I am not, for I'm not anymore. I'm sorry, guys. I'm kind of in a goofy mood tonight. I apologize. So Jonathan E. Reed, the famous surgeon. I must lie to them all, to the patients, to the staff. This is my new home where I will hide from all who are after me, where I will hide from everyone until I get a better understanding of what is going on. All right. So my objective is to enter the hospital, but you already know we got to explore. You can do better than that. It's my turn. Oh shit. You just killed that guy. Rotten old crusty. Each heart contains the seed of life. Drink at this river. Dry it all. <laughs> oh, come on, you bastard. I won't bite. Sir, please. You've lost too much blood. Calm yourself. You think I didn't notice? Stop your staring and get me to an hospital, you ass. Uh. Be more polite. Insulting a good Samaritan. Damn right. Not exactly the way to get rescued. All right, all right. Sorry, I am in pain here. My guts are spilling out onto the street and you're yabbering on. Yes, that's a very nasty wound you've got there. Take my word, I was... I am a doctor, Dr. Jonathan Reed. <sighs> Name's Clay Cox. I'd appreciate you helping me to a better place, Doc. Follow me, Mr. Cox. Let me assist you to that better place. Hi. The blood quality indicates how much XP, the higher the blood quality, the more XP you get. So mesmerize for details, press alt. Wait. Oh, so, okay. I have level one mesmerize apparently and he only takes level one. So I'm gonna try mesmerizing him. I don't know what that does. Oh, he's mesmerized, or mesmerized for sure. Bring this fading light Follow the red trail the to lead your prey to the shadows. Ends. Oh, I was supposed to memorize, mesmerize him? So press uh, left mouse button to embrace Clay Cox or spacebar to release him. Embracing Clay will provide a massive XP boost, but be aware that there will be consequences. Learning more about citizens and collecting their hints will increase the experience gain. I want to release him. I know, guys, I know I need to feed and do all that kind of stuff, but I want to feed as little as possible. The only downside of that is I don't get as much experience, obviously. But there's also consequences to the choices, and I want to go as good as possible. So, you know, that, that's just how it's going to be. <laughs> no more. Not tonight. Not like this. I will not take another life. Yeah. Damn skippity. Am I not going to take him to the hospital, though? Alright. I guess he's just going to sit here and uh, rot. Ooh, loots. Loots. Yes. Two springs. Alright. I really wish it would let me change my weapon. Tiny common handle part. Alright. Oh, it is wise for the huntsman to sometimes let his prey go, but no famished hunter can run for long.
Alright, aluminum powder. Nice, nice. The loots. Oh, whoa. My mouse sensitivity skyrocketed right there. Sorry, guys. This is like flipped around on you. Alright. Let's enter the... Oh, what was this? Hang on, hang on. Careless spitting, sneezing, coughing, spread influenza. Do not cough in public. All right. See, I guess I can spend all damn day long exploring. So if I don't go do, to the objective right now, I'm just gonna explore the entire damn time. Let's, let's, Doctor, let's do the objective. Where have you been? I've little time to play hide and seek with new staff members, no matter how illustrious they may be. I found a wounded man by the docks. He answers to the name of Clay Cox. He requires urgent medical attention. Already making the rounds? That's the Pembroke spirit. I'll ask our porter, Milton, to bring him back immediately. Thank you, nurse. What can I do for you? Dr. Swansea insisted we provide you a quiet office. You'll find it on the second floor with your name on the door. Thank you. I already got my name on the door. All right. Yes, Dorothy Crane. Welcome to Pembroke Hospital, Dr. Reed. Your office has been prepared. Well, let's, let's ask a few questions if we can. I would like to ask a few questions first. Oh, all right. Um, yeah, let's learn about Dr. Swansea. What kind of man is Dr. Swansea? Well, you accepted the job from him. I thought you would have known about your employer. <laughs> for sure, for sure. He definitely knows me more than it's I know right him. To assume Dr. Swansea knows far more about me than I do about him. You'll get to know him soon enough and better than me. The administrator has better things to do than mix with us. Um, sure. Apologies, I've, only, I've only just met him the once. This is sudden. I've only just returned to England. Dr. Swansea is a brilliant surgeon and the most compassionate physician. All right. Sounds like a good man. Good man. And Mr. Hampton, the patient we brought in. How does he fare? I gave him a sedative to help him sleep. Poor thing was in quite a state of shock. You know, doesn't this look like the actress from The Sound of Music? The one that plays the nanny? She just reminds me so much of her. I know I just gave you guys a weird ass movie reference, but. <laughs> if you could point me in the direction of my room again, nurse. Second floor of the hospital, left after the stairs. It's the last vacant office at the end of the corridor. All right, well, thank you. You've been thank very you, helpful. I like you, Nurse Crane. You're awesome. I won't eat you. Wait, that came out wrong. I won't suck your blood. <laughs> All right, so find your office on the second floor. God. I feel like there's just so much to explore in this game, guys. Dr. Swansea is right. This place seems perfect to conduct my research. Don't cough in public. I've already looked at that. Oh, oh, oh. This is new. In the name of mercy, they depend on you. Nurses are needed now. All right. Set upstairs, left. Wait, second floor. I'm on the second floor. Looks like it's this one. No, that's Dr. Swanier. Or, I keep calling him Swansea. It's Swansea, not Swansea. Spawn, not Swansea. Spawn, not Swansea. All right. Uh, wait, no, no, no. I need to stay on the second floor. I think it's. I thought she said it's to the left. Didn't she? I guess maybe it's left off the stairs down the hall. Oh, okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. Stuff over there. Check out my this office. Place. It's definitely away from prying eyes. Nice. Relegated to the shadows, a kingdom of my own. At this least actually... I won't be sleeping in a coffin. This is a nice office. Oh, oh, oh. Stuff to explore. Dragon bane. Nice. Let's look at the details. Oh, it's a melee weapon. Ancient sword with Latin phrase engraved on the blade. Nice. I still have no idea how to equip it. Well, that was a really weird loading screen. Oh, look at my hat. Now I'm looking ballin'. 
Man, I look like a boss. All right, so like I said, I still don't know how to equip weapons because the button I'm using, the button that controls tell me to use, I'm using, and it doesn't do anything. So yeah, I don't know. Rare opportunity and almost a privilege to approach a vampire to observe their most intriguing physical and physiological traits with a scientific and rational eye. Is this... I get it. If I hit that locker, it changes my outfit. Okay. That makes sense. Dr. Swansea's message. See, I can't scroll down in the letters either. I don't know if there's something wrong with the controls. Oh, there we go. I have to come out and go back in and then it lets me scroll down. Okay. That's weird. That seems like a bug. I think that's a bug. So then that was Dr. Swansea's message. So now I can show you guys this. You can see me. Or see the rest of this. I know some of you guys are probably into the lore. And this was the first thing I found where I couldn't scroll down, but now I can. Alright. Cool. Now, will you let me equip? I wish I could equip that. Okay, I can sit in the bed, level up. Bullet, standard bullet, nice. I refilled, I guess. Exactly know how that works. So that's the workbench. Yeah, I want to explore before I hit the workbench. The flower's dying. It needs water. Is there any water around? Can I water it? Anything else to explore? All right, let's check out the workbench. Okay, first, oh, the first need to analyze the components you found to unlock new recipes. Let's hit this. Um, click on the to analyze, all right, click on the to analyze components. Click on the what? What? Oh, that's weird. It didn't give me the analyze on the bottom right of the menu last time. Serums? The light regeneration serum regenerate 300 health points instantly, then 150 points over 15 seconds. Ooh, that's cool. That's a serum recipe that I just found. And I can't make it because I don't have sodium uh, hypochloride solution. Man, everything takes sodium hypochloride solutions. The thing that sucks is I feel like I need to keep upgrading this just because I can't switch weapons. William Bishop's blood is much more unstable than human blood and shows extensive mutation. But this is not what happened to me. I must keep on searching. Yeah, I must the sun search. is about to rise. I can feel it. I'll continue tomorrow night. I have so much time now. So much time. All right, so we have 940 experience. Um, I think I might want to unlock one of these defensive guys. Blood barrier, you create an invisible barrier absorbing direct damage until it fades or is destroyed. That's nice. And you will block your target's blood in their veins, making them defenseless. You know, I kind of really like the idea of having a force field around me. I don't really need to increase my health or stamina just yet. Level 2 of this is locked because I need to get to level 8. That makes sense. Ooh, I can get this. I have enough to get this and the force field thingy maneuver. I kind of like that. So, duration is 5 seconds. Um, and it takes... How much? Well, one hit is absorbed. Interesting. And this makes it two hits absorbed, three hits are absorbed, but this... Oh, it brings the recovery down. Okay. 
What do these do? Anything? Oh, it adds um, explosion damage. Okay. Interesting. I'm just looking at what the paths lead to to see what I like more. Two seconds control, three seconds control. What does this do? Target's blood will now burst out of their body, flowing towards your mouth to feed you without touching your prey? Oh, that sounds amazing! Wow. Alright. Um, your control on the target's blood is now stronger, and the time you control it is increased. 10 second control. Look at that. Holy cow. I actually think I really like this, and I might go this path. 20 blood gain, 15 blood gain, 10 blood gain. That's really cool. It leaves them defenseless for three seconds, though. I think I'm, I'm probably going to be a type of person that gets good at dodging, so I don't think I want the blood barrier. I think I want to go coagulation route. Let's... I think let's do that, but what, is, what does this do? 100% damage plus 5% heal. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to level this up. And we're going to come back here and we're going to level this up. I like that. Yes. Yes. Alright. Confirm.